Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 29 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Cassandra is using all the balloons in 11 packages, so that's going to be helpful. Six balloons in each package, half of the balloons in each package were red, so we're looking for an equation for the total number of red balloons. Well, we've got packages. Let me start by drawing a picture, because obviously all of our answers are going to be represented as an equation, but at least we've got answers here so we can, you know, try to solve the problem ourselves and then just find the answer, right? So we've got 11 packages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw 11 rectangles here. And these are going to be my packages. And I'm just going to use these because I want to represent my balloons. Because as you can see in each package, they've kind of got two things going. They've got some red ones. And we don't know what the other ones are, right? We've got non-red ones. So there we go. There's my 11. I'm not going to finish out that bottom row because that would be a full 12. We have 11 packages. There are six balloons in each package. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right, draw six in each of these. So that's going to help me. So right now I've got 11 groups of six. But here's where it gets kind of interesting. Half of the balloons in each package were red. So I'm just going to kind of do this. I'm going to draw a line down there. And I'm just going to say that half is red. I'm just going to kind of draw a line and shade. We don't know what the other color is. I'm just going to say, I'll, I'll even make a little key for myself. That equals red. So half of each of these is going to be red balloons. Now once we have that, we can actually solve our problem. Then all we need to do is kind of match it up to what we actually did, because we've actually done two separate operations with this picture here. But if we can visualize it, we can solve it. Well, how many balloons are in each package? Six. How many red balloons are in each package? Well, it looks like that's going to be three, right? Because it makes sense, three and three. So what if I just put a three on top of e each of these? And I think that's going to get us our answer. Because even though we have 11 groups of six, we only want half of each of those. So it's actually going to be 11 groups of 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. So I'm thinking, thinking B. Let's see if we can match up what we did here. Well, first we took our 11 packages, right? And we've got six balloons in each package. So we took 11 groups of six. So 11 groups of six is going to be 11 times six. It's a pretty clear, almost an array. It's not an array because we don't really have anything down here at the very bottom, right? So 11 times six. So A is going to work. B is going to work. Oh, C is off the table because this is 11 minus six. We're not subtracting here. Or multiplying. D works. And then what I did, and take a look, we've got a 2, we've got a 3, we've got a 3. We took each of our packages and we cut it in half. Now when you cut in half, there's actually a few different ways you can do that. You can either multiply by a half, something you'll get to like in fifth grade, or you can do what we did, we actually divided it in two. Multiplying by half, dividing by 2, it's the same thing. And that's what we need right there in B. So that's why our answer is B.